Hello guys! You know, nights are really hot in my part of the world. Crimea was on fire again because of the successful Ukrainian special military operation. And in the morning, the spokesperson of Ukrainian armed forces promised us that soon we will destroy the last ship of the Russian Black Sea Navy. And to prove that this is already happening, a beautiful update on the destruction of two Russian amphibious landing ships, Yamal and Azov, near Sevastopol, and also the destruction of an oil depot on the territory of the temporarily, and I stress it here, very temporarily occupied Crimea. Actually, there were many things happening during this week, starting from the end of Putin's fake and perhaps the most falsified elections in history, and finishing with the attacks on Moscow Concert Hall and Ukrainian Dnipro Hydroelectro Station. Let's look at all of these events starting from the night in Crimea from the ordinary Ukrainian perspective. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight against Russian propaganda, fake news and Black Sea Navy. And my long-time friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. So tonight it was really hot and loud in Crimea. We've got lots of videos from Russian vloggers and I'm surprised how media illiterate they actually are. Uh, sharing all of the targeted locations. This is very wrong. In Ukraine we never do that, at least until when we are allowed by uh, the authorities because the enemy can correct the target and cause more destructions. Unfortunately, Russians practice that even without videos available and recently they've committed another war crime when targeted Odessa twice, I mean the very same place, and killing lots of rescuers who were working on the site. But tonight we targeted only legitimate military objects and these were two last operational Russian amphibious landing ships, Yamal and Azov. I'm thinking it will be really difficult for Russians without them and that's good. And also uh, we destroyed another oil depot that was used by Russian army on the peninsula. Unfortunately, they've turned this beautiful peninsula that is perfect for tourism, for fun, for uh, walking, hiking, I don't know, living into a military base. And that's why it is so important uh, to liberate it from invaders and to return it back to Ukraine and to normality. And hopefully one day we will have a party there. In this video that Russian vloggers share about explosions in Crimea, they um, demonstrate lack of support from the government. They are very dissatisfied with the absence of air defense that does not protect them. Russians don't have enough air defense systems and all of them are uh, aimed to protect Putin and co. And they did not expect such things happening. Well, there are also lots of missiles above Ukraine tonight. We've managed to stop them. And actually one missile was stopped above my region. And uh, what is alarming, one of these missiles crossed the border with Poland and spent 39 seconds in the skies of a NATO country with no reaction. I want to ask you, please let me know in the comments below, what do you think about that? Should uh, Poland shot this uh, missile? Because I don't like the answer they gave, like they knew it would return back to Ukraine, so they simply waited. It's not the reaction I hope from a NATO country, moreover, it's not a reason to be afraid to react, because according to all the rules and agreements, you are allowed to stop any moving target in your as guys, it's uh, Russians know it's illegal. Russians know they break the rules, and that's the way they test us. Uh, but they are also losing lots of tests in Russia, uh, losing control over Belhorod and Kursk regions. And here in Ukraine, we love naming these regions now Belhorod People's Republic and Kursk People's Republic. You may introduce that in your countries too. And Russian Volunteer Corps, Russian Freedom uh, freedom of Russia Legion fighters travel easily and destroy military objects on the territories of these regions. There are a lot of storages of ammunition, Russian troops, 
because they actually use this Russian Federation regions as platforms of attack on Ukraine. They target Kyiv, Chernihiv, Sumy, Kharkiv from these cities and cleaning them from Russian army is definitely a good solution. And I hope that in future, these Russian volunteer fighters will be able to clean Russia from Putin and the supporters of Russian imperial uh, policy. And uh, the week started with the fake results of fake elections of fake Putin giving him the greatest victory of all time. And even Russian newspapers wrote that very likely it was falsified. But now this 87% of support Putin will definitely use to mobilize people. And I think that this Moscow attack in Crocus Concert Hall uh, was inspired by FSB. Uh, despite the fact that uh, all the intelligence services warned Russia, uh, US embassy warned that something similar is coming and ISIS taking responsibility for the attack, Putin still wants to claim Ukraine. And the only reason is he needs this mobilization. And here I mean both. Uh, military mobilization of people to Russian army because they've lost like half a million of soldiers dead already. They need more dead soldiers. And also they need this hatred towards Ukraine, towards West, and that's the way to inspire more and more evil inside uh, Russia. And at the same time, I'm sure population, Russian population notices that not everything goes according to the plan as there are lots of uh, fires and explosions all around Russia, deep inside Russian Ria, and most importantly on Russian oil refineries. This is a very wise strategy of Ukrainian armed forces, using limited resources to paralyze Russian industry, military industry. They need this fuel for tanks, for aircraft, and of course, to get more money for military industry. That's why those ideas that we should not target Russian oil refineries are definitely absurd. I know some of you say not to trust such messages, but Financial Times seems like a responsible source. But anyway, I'm happy to know that we do not follow this advice because the night before we've targeted another oil refinery really big one in Samara region. And according to NATO strategy, and most importantly, all the advice that we received from our allies back in 22, back in 23, these are legitimate targets. And hopefully many other countries understand us and support us. For example, Macron started talking about sending French troops to Ukraine, and I have a video on that. Um, there are lots of things they can do here without being directly involved in battles on the front lines. And I think this is actually a good idea. And when big countries are in doubt or going through difficult periods of election, we observe that smaller countries mobilize like Czech Republic that have found a possibility to send lots of um, uh, ammunition that we need and uh, not saying where they found it. And also other countries like the Baltic countries that traditionally demonstrate huge support uh, to Ukraine. And I hope uh, we will remain united with all of the allies because Russia is weak and all these fires, all these explosions, all these uh, protests, all these uh, Russian volunteers fighting against Putin are symptoms of the collapsing Putin's regime and collapsing Russian empire. Because no matter how you name it, Soviet Union, Russian Federation, it is still uh, the same. Um, anyway, let me know in the comments below first, what do you think about this um, Russian missile violating uh, NATO skies for 39 seconds? And I think 39 seconds is really long. Um, especially remembering the reaction of Erdogan when Russian aircraft crossed the borders of Turkey and was just uh, dust in seconds. So let me know what do you think about that and also how do you think what was the most important event of this week. Thank you once again for buying me coffees and becoming my patrons. Uh, thank you so much for joining me on Instagram. I'm active there. And also you can find me on X and threads and in Discord community. Remember to check our beautiful merch shop with lots of items that work well as conversation starters. But most importantly, united we stand and together we will win over Russia. Slava Ukraini!